Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Kyle Got Money here, and I want to give and I'm sending out an update video for what's going on in the NFL so far with free agent signings and re-signings. So here we go. Well, with the quarterback standpoint, first major transition is Vince Young to Philadelphia. Um, I don't know why Tennessee really gave him up because I don't. They really don't have another decent quarterback to actually go for. That's, that's really the only thing that they can really get. Vince Young really proved that he really, uh, I wouldn't say he was a total bust. He got him to the playoffs once and he did, I say okay in some of the seasons, but I mean, the one season where Tennessee actually did was when Kerry Collins was quarterback and when they had Who White as their running backs. I mean, that was really the only time uh, Tennessee had a decent team. Um, next transition was uh, Tyler Thickpen. He's moved from Miami to... Um, I I understand why Buffalo is always trading for quarterbacks and always trading their quarterback because they really haven't found their quarterback because it's been it's been a long time because I cannot remember the last time when I was like oh my oh my god they got a really good quarterback what are we gonna do because they never had a good quarterback in a long time. The quarterback that they had was at least Drew Bledsoe after uh, New England traded him. I mean, he was really like their quarterback and then I make it number. But anyway, Thick Pound is supposed to be kind of the back for um, Miami and she never kind of did because apparently Chad Henney was good enough for Miami that year um, even throwing I think it was like three picks against the Browns my hometown and three picks Joe Hayden who I think is going to have a breakout season this year Go ahead. Uh, one, two, one, one of our uh, safeties, Abram Elam, and one to one of our other kind of that cornerbacks, Mike Adams. Chad Henney, he's proven to be inaccurate sometimes, and he, I don't think he's got what it takes to take the. Uh, Dolphins to the playoffs. I mean, if they do, they'll just like barely make it as a wild card. I mean, just barely. Um, yeah, Thick Pen, he's probably better off up in uh, Buffalo. I mean, he's used to not so talented receivers. Like, every receiver, receiver core, receiving core he's been with. It hasn't been that talented in Buffalo. It's really not that talented. I mean, it's got they could get the talent, but they really, they, to me, they got to worry about their quarterback first. Their only decent receiver they got is Roscoe Parrish, which I think he's going downhill like really quick because he used to be like one of the top receivers, and he's not doing that that well. Next kind of quarterback update was Alex Smith. He resigned with San Francisco, and I think San Francisco. I think they should have done that because, I mean, he's proven that he knows the receivers. He knows Vernon Davis, their star tight end, uh, Michael Crabtree, and Ted Ginn, which I kind of prefer um, Troy Smith. Because Ohio State, Ohio, I'm from Ohio, Cleveland, 
area. Um, it's kind of funny to see Ted Ginn Jr. and Troy Smith to be on the field again, because the last time they were on the, the same, on the field together was in the uh, upsetting uh, BCS loss to Florida, which all of Ohio is like, how can you do this? You were undefeated the whole season. You were, we had the best quarterback. We won the Heisman. We had the best probably the best receiver in the nation, and and he was also our kick returner. I mean, he he returns like the first kickoff for a touchdown. And I mean, I'm like, how can you lose? It's always when Ohio State. Oh, forget it. I'm going off topic. Um, back to San Francisco. Um, yeah, Troy Smith, I mean, he's proven to be a bust. Uh, Ravens picked him up. I mean, they traded him to San Francisco. San Francisco tried him out as quarterback. Apparently they liked Alex Smith more. Um, I kind of like, I probably would think, even being a Troy Smith fan, I think San Francisco would be better off with Alex Smith as quarterback because he's got more experience with the lineup and more experience with the coaches so I think he is a little bit more qualified for the job other than a bust quarterback from Ohio State. Next one, next kind of transition is Matt Moore who was supposed to be the uh, starting quarterback for North Carolina, the, not North Carolina, the Carolina Panthers last year but he lost it to Jimmy Clausen and then this year uh, Carolina traded him to let's say Miami and so I'm guessing he'll take the place of Tyler Thigpen as the the backup because just in case if Chad Henney gets hurt or something they'll have somewhat of a okay quarterback to back him up just a quarterback to hold him at least to at least a 5-6-7 win uh, season I used to be a really good, real big Panthers fan, but it was like ever since the Del once Delome left, I mean, I lost interest. And when he came to Cleveland, I'm like, yes, we got Delome. And then I'm like, oh shit, he's hurt. And then it was Seneca Wallace for Cleveland. Then he got hurt. And then McCoy, and now I'm falling behind McCoy. Um, and Delome, he turned out to be a bust. The, few games that he played that we actually won it was thanks to at least the defense and our monster running back Payton Hill is yeah man cover shoot yeah um so that's what's been up with Matt, Matt Moore and Jake DeLome and the, well the Browns released uh, Jake DeLome and so far nobody has picked them up I'm guessing kind of a I'd say later on I'd say Buffalo Maybe Buffalo might take him, kind of get the, uh, kind of get a, another veteran quarterback in because Delone he does have the veteran in him and he's been to the Super Bowl. I mean, he can lead a team, but I just don't see him as a dominant starter that could go to the playoffs. Next update is Matt Liner. He he resigned with the Houston Texans. I think he's going to end up. Kind of stay the secondary just in case if Matt Schaub gets hurt. And yeah, just if he gets hurt, they'll have basically just a decent backup. I mean, he had somewhat, he, he was somewhat of a bust in Arizona because there's so much hype around him. Of course, USC player gets a lot of hype, which I don't know why every USC player gets so much hype on him. I mean, Mark Sanchez, he's overrated. I don't care if you're a Jets fan. I think he's overrated. Uh, next transition is a former Minnesota Vikings quarterback, Tavares Jackson. He is going to Seattle because Matt Hasselbeck, he's going to Tennessee, probably taking Vince Young's place as starting quarterback and... I think Tavares Jackson, he's going to be the uh, starting quarterback up in Seattle because up there with the West Coast offense and with Pete Carroll, 
I think he's probably better fit than Matt Hasselbad because he was more of a veteran. Oh, I gotta hand it off more. And knowing Pete Carroll, he wants to throw the ball a little bit more than the run. He's more of a passer, not a runner. So, so Tavares Jackson, I mean, he's got the speed to get out of the pocket in case of like it collapses. But I don't think he's a star or Pro Bowl caliber quarterback. I mean, even up in Minnesota, he was he was horrible. That was when Minnesota is terrible. I mean, they're getting beat by every team except for Detroit, maybe. But he was never that great. He lost his job to Brett Favre. I mean, yeah, the first season, Favre did good. Favre, if you ever watch this, stay retired. Um, <laughs> Tavares Jackson was never a good quarterback. I mean, he had Adrian Peterson hide behind. And that was it. I mean, he made that the one wild card appearance in the um, playoffs, but they just got destroyed by the Eagles. Um, next next movement is Rex Grossman. Well, not movement. He he also resigned with Washington. Um, with. Uh, McNabb's movement moved to uh, Minnesota. They're probably going to have Rex as um, their starting quarterback, or they might try to get somebody else who is also a free agent this year. Uh, if they don't find anybody, they got Rex Grossman. I think he will be at least a decent amount of quarterback to at least get him to a uh, at least. I say to a wild card berth because when he was up in Chicago, when they when they had like the best record when they went to the Super Bowl against the Colts, I mean he I know he still has that in him. He still has that arm and accuracy there, but he just doesn't he didn't want to show it because he didn't want to over show McNabb because it was supposed to be oh my God McNabb's in Washington we gotta show all respect to him and screw. Rex Grossman because we don't want him, we want McNabb. I mean, I could understand why, I mean, he was a little bit nervous, kind of stepping out from behind McNabb. I mean, I mean, yeah, he probably wanted to show McNabb that he is better than him, but, I mean, he, he probably wanted to show respect to McNabb, saying, look, you got more experience than me, so I'm going to try to at least do average at best. So, he resigns. I think he's going to be the starting quarterback unless they get some other, mo unless Washington gets a monumental trade for quarterback. Um, another transition was Bruce Gregkowski, who was like Oakland's like savior, like two seasons ago when they beat the Steelers. He's going to Cincinnati, which, yeah, they, yeah, they're releasing. I'm hearing rumors or. I, I don't follow the Bengals that much. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, they, I'm pretty sure they did already release Carson Palmer. And they're probably going to use Andy Dalton as their starting quarterback. And they're probably going to use Bruce as their backup. I mean, they know that like all these like transitions are for like a, the, the teams that they're going to, it's been like the decent quarterbacks that could step out from behind a starting quarterback that got hurt and be the starter for at least the rest of the season. So it's not mainly like huge starting quarterbacks moving and getting the starting spot. I mean, it's mainly the quarterbacks that are going to the least talented teams that are probably going to get the starting spot, like Thick Pen. So, yep, yeah, and final movement is Derek Anderson is going to Carolina with the race between I mean all Carolinas is going to be messed up it's DA Tony Pike Claus and Cam Newton fighting for the starting spot so I think it's it's going to be a whole mess in Carolina so yep that's so far what's happening in the world of quarterbacks free agents in the NFL so if, I'll probably post another update video later today or maybe in a few days because I'm getting my wisdom teeth pulled out tomorrow so I probably won't be able to 